just recorded a whole thing for you and somehow deleted it. But I thought if you um, could check out this video and see if Seesaw is something you want to do, I would gladly help you guys. I'm helping Stephanie right now and I helped Elizabeth a little bit. And Mary, I'm glad to help you if you want help. If you want to consider this, it would really help out teachers and parents to have one platform that the kids are going to. I know that every single grade except for kindergarten has now signed up for Seesaw. So every kid has a class that would look similar to this where they log in. They have their name up in this corner. They have notifications when they have assignments here. They click here and they'll see all their classes. So this is what they see. And if they have an assignment in that class that needs to get done, it'll show up red. Now as a teacher, I can click on any of my assignments um, like I morning prayer and then I click on activities so this is a prayer I did the other day and I um, I haven't even checked this yet but my whole class is down here and they just type their response and send it back to me so I can quickly see oh look at that hundred percent right there everybody did it um, I can quickly see who did it. This is just to review. I haven't even checked his yet, and all I do is approve that he did it. Approve. And it's done. So then my red dot is gone. But that's how the kids feel about it, is they want to get that red dot done and turned in. And you can easily see everybody's stuff. They can also send you videos. I'm not sure if this one sent me any videos. Oh, Trace did. So he sent me a prayer back in a video, which anybody could do that. Um... So this is what it looks like from the teacher end. Now, I tried to talk to Stephanie about this, and I'm helping her. So we set up a class for each thing. And then um, I noticed, Stephanie, this was super easy. If you're doing the same assignment, I could just um, go to Activities, Add, Assign Activity, and any assignment that you create starts to load down here so I can assign the same thing that you already did and just click kindergarten assign to one class and then view activity in kindergarten PE it's right there so then that is in all your classes you'll just have to add that bingo card into it Stephanie did second grade already so if you click on your activities um, she even did a quick little video of her explaining what Hi to boys do. and girls, it's Mrs. Palmer. I would like you for your So if you do a voice video, you'd have to go to each class and do that. Now, I did show this to Elizabeth. So, Mary, when you go to add an assignment, you click add and assign activity. You can make your own activity just by clicking create new activity. And then I usually type the date here and then maybe what it is. Monet art. Okay, let's say you're doing that. Then you can type instructions here or you can add video instructions or if you want to add multimedia, you can add a photo quick, a drawing, a video, a link to something, upload something. The kids have these menu options as well when they respond to you, so they're really nice. Um, but let's say I don't want to create one. I want this done super duper fast, so I'm going to go to the community option here and they already have lessons made for you. So you can choose the grade level if I want to do kindergarten and I want to choose the subject as art. Oh, art was number one, alphabetical. Here's some assignments already done for you. Activity three, get to know you, or maybe make a card. So I could click this, make a card. Use crayons and paper to draw a picture to share as a gift. Add your name, oops, blank this activity, stop. Um, Add your, add your name and label the things, tap the add button, and this is super easy for the kids to do, to click add response, take a picture of your drawing, microphone, what the drawing is for, um, there's instructions. Use crayons and paper to draw a picture to share as a gift. So some teacher already made this for you. All you have to do is click assign, and then once you assign it, there's these three dots at the bottom that you can click and edit this to make it more your own. But that's super simple. Um, back to class gets you back to where you were. So now you have to get this information to your parents to join the class. So for first grade, I would click add students down at the bottom here. Do they want to sign in with their Google account? Yes. 
and then they get this code here. So you copy this code and I would truly do this all for you guys if this is overwhelming you. I just did it for Stephanie and it took me two seconds. So I typed up this, ooh, where'd that go? This email for her, P-E-C-S-A email. This, this is one they already had generated and it just shows them how to sign up for Seesaw. If you already have an account, here's what you do. And then I copied and pasted her grades and the codes here for each grade and she could send out one code. I also pasted this video explanation down below. So I would be more than happy to do this for each of you if you would like me to. Does not bother me at all. So let me know. Hopefully this video helped you and if you have any questions, I'm glad to help out. Let me see if I can end this recording right now. Hopefully I made that recording.